Oh god, no. I ain't gonna take it this time. <laughs> there ain't no way. Okay. Well, that was a fantastic disaster. Close? Wow. You and I have different definitions of close. <laughs> All right, all right. That one could have gone better. Oh, well, thank you. Well, you said you wanted a challenge. Here's your challenge. <laughs> all right, let's do... Some upgrades. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, yeah, the hedges do look nice. Upgrade. Alright. That'll make him happy. Go ahead and do that. Just ignore Richard. Just, just ignore him. He's fine. You're fine. Everybody's fine. Um, let's see. A Philly. Ooh, good numbers, too. The sad sixes. That's just strange. It's just, just, you know, it's like, oh no, just, you know, 53, it's fine. It's really weird. Okay. So, how much is this? Yeah, we can do these. some money. Money, money. Money, money. Hmm. Uh. Let's do a speed race. <laughs> I need a speed race. I need money. Okay, now I can finish the full stalls here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. Yay! Okay, so... It's like that. You finally brought her. It took you long enough. Okay, so... Basically, train a horse to 20. Train a horse to 26. Win shit. Win, win. Oh, yeah, the upgrades. Okay, I'm like, what are you talking about? We've already done this. No, we haven't. <laughs> it, it helps when I can pay attention. So, let's see. Summer trivia. Mm. Mm. These are all fives, right? Right. So I can't actually train to twenty six until I get another six. Okay. Well for now we will Splash and some hot rod stuff. There we go. So handsome. So handsome. Now we've got, let's see. Ooh, the Balmoral. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm curious now. Oh, that's, that's not 
This is weird looking. It's all right. It's all right. Let's see. Um. Cause what is that? Oh, is that the? Yeah, that's the festive. What does it look like? Uh. Yeah. my yeah we'll hold off because I can't afford that anyway but I can where are you at I can do that so so Alright. Um. I can't breed. Because I have no money. So I think what I'm gonna do is we'll work on Splash first. Because I've already started training Splash. So. Let's see. Splash. There you are. 83, 84. Yeah. So, Yara Park. Okay. Yara it is. Alright, Splash, my man. Have some fun. Have some fun out there. Underway here at Yarra Park. Formal school has begun well. Sparkling soldiers right up there with the leader. Formal school still in the lead. Autumn's splash in second position. Toe to toe with sparkling soldiers. Jolly dust getting moving. Search shellfish for the outside. Trying to fend off wild lush. Next, it's Princess's Muffin. Circus Cardigan in first place. Autumn's Splash wants the front. Two lengths away, it's Princess's Muffin. And then it's Search Shellfish. Formal School in fifth, pushing hard in front of Wild Blush. Search Shellfish with a brilliant turn of foot. Black Bail Buzz in 14th place. A length behind, it's Burst Breath. The race continues with Circus Cardigan. Autumn's Splash in second place. Wild Blush pushing past horses. Heads up and down with Jolly Dust, followed by Sparkling Soldiers, head and head with Princess's Muffin. The Boulder gaining momentum and flying through. Autumn's Splash in first spot. Circus Cardigan in second spot. A length away is Wild Blush. On their back is Princess's Muffin. Out deeper on the track is Jolly Dust. Stride for stride with The Boulder from Sparkling Soldiers. Tragedy Boutique in 14th position. Two lengths behind its first breath. Then as the race moves on, it's Circus Cardigan. Autumn's Splash getting eager. A length behind its Wild Blush. Just ahead of Princess's Muffin. Just behind its The Boulder has paced away clearly from Sparkling Soldiers. Tragedy Boutique in 14th spot, neck and neck with Burst Breath. Circus Hardigan leading, a length away it's Jolly Dust, just in front of Wild Blush. Princess's Muffin next, two lengths away it's The Boulder. 1100 to race, it's Autumn Splash, Circus Hardigan in second. Jolly Dust in third position, then Wild Blush. A length behind it's Princess's Muffin. Autumn's Splash leading the race. Jolly Dust in second position. Circus Hardigan in third place. Putting in a strong bid with Wild Lush. Next, it's Princess's Muffin. At the 700 pole, it's Autumn's Splash. Jolly Dust in second place. Closely followed by Circus Hardigan. Just behind, it's Wild Lush. Autumn's Splash setting the pace. Jolly Dust wants the front, just has a margin over Wild Blush. Next, it's Circus Hardigan. 
Autumn's Splash still in the lead. Wild Blush beginning to make ground, putting in a strong bid with Jolly Dust. Circus Cardigan on the fence. As they come towards the line, it's Autumn's Splash. Wild Blush in second. On their back is Jolly Dust. They straighten up for home, but it's Wild Blush. Autumn's Splash eager to get in a better position. Great finish. Leave it to the photo. Wild Blush taking the win in the final strides. Autumn's Splash in second. Jolly Dust in third. And pass. Five meters too late. Okay, okay. We got him up to level 16. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is... Let's see. I've already got a couple... So I think you had none. Yeah. That hit the wrong thing. So I think duck. I'll make him the stud. Alright, so let's see here. Breed. Breed my boy. You I have to sell break. I think we're done with her. Atmosphere. And summer. Yeah. Okay. Break, my dear. You beautiful thing. Contributions have been appreciated. You have a beautiful day. Alright, so let's go ahead and train up Splash some more. stuff. Okay. So, let's go to... Is he fast enough for Kildare now? Maybe. Ooh! Maybe Pearl River? There it is. Alright. Okay. Alright. Another round of racing. It's race on here at Hill Deer. Autumn's Splash takes the early lead. Noisy Scenario going with them. Autumn's Splash still in first position. Noisy Scenario in second position. A length behind, it's Thursday Train. Trying to brush off Boiling Bias. Just behind, it's Creatures Cushion. Toe to toe with Hamster's Bear. Double Porter in 13th place. Sparring with Southern Deal. Noisy Scenario, the leader. Glamorous Gingerbread, next. A length away, it's Boiling Bias. Up against Vickers Vertigo. Bad Beeswax is coming with a huge run. Still going, it's Autumn's Splash. Noisy Scenario wants the front. A length behind, it's Thursday Train. Then Creatures Cushion. Hamster's Bear moving forward. Heads up and down with Boiling Bias. Next, it's Glamorous Gingerbread. Baron's Blackberry in 13th position, pushing hard in front of Double Porter. 
Autumn Splash maintaining the lead. Thursday Trey in second place. And then it's Noisy Scenario. Just ahead of Creatures Cushion. Four lengths behind, it's Glamorous Gingerbread. Autumn Splash dictating the pace. Boiling Bias getting past. Just in front of Creatures Cushion. Followed by Hamster's Bear. Has cleared out from Glamorous Gingerbread. Baron's Blackberry, 13. Two lengths away, it's Double Water. The race continues with Autumn's Splash. Creatures Cushion taking the inside line. On their back is Noisy Scenario. Hamster's Bear in fifth position. Boiling Bias in sixth place. Baron's Blackberry in 13th spot. Three lengths away, it's Double Water. Autumn's Splash in the lead. Thursday Train in second spot from Noisy Scenario. Putting in a strong bid with Hamster's Bear. Baron's Blackberry in 13th place. A length away, it's Double Water. Then as the race moves on, it's Autumn's Splash. And here comes Creatures Cushion. Just behind, it's Thursday Train. Two lengths behind, it's Noisy Scenario. Hamster's Bear next. Autumn's Splash leads the race. Creatures Cushion in second. One length behind, it's Thursday Train. Two lengths away, it's Noisy Scenario. Autumn's Splash still piloting the field. Creatures Cushion in second position. One length away, it's Thursday Train. Two lengths behind, it's Hamster's Bear. Autumn's Splash keeping the front. Creatures Cushion in second spot. Thursday Train next. Autumn's Splash dictating the pace. Creatures Cushion spreading the paint off the rails. Autumn's Splash selects first. Creatures Cushion second. Thursday Train. Okay. I did sneak in a, uh, a training session because I had literally one level left, as you can tell. And I was like, nope, nope. I am not stopping now. <laughs> so, I kind of snuck that in. Um, but Splash is now fully leveled and fully trained. Uh, let's see. Click that. All right. Let's see. Win some things. I did. Thank you. Alright. Bellancourt 2. Upgrade. Need to train one more speed. Um, let's go ahead and train. Where is Autumn? Alright. Train our new ducky here. Alright, so that should satisfy old bus bucket up here. Let's see. Yep. Alright. Oh, I got a good trainer. Thank you very much. He's already back for more. <laughs> okay, well, let's do foals first. Foals first, foals first. Let's see. Another filly. Okay. Oh, baby. Nope. Had a beautiful day. Another filly. Another filly. Oh, it's filly. Like, it's a six. Okay. Nope. Filly. Filly, filly. Filet, filet. Alright, bye. Let's see. Sixes and fives, sixes and fives. Breathe. 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 
Why is there four? Who's number four? Oh, Melody. Okay. Yeah. I thought I got rid of all y'all. Okay. So... Another payout? Yep. Alright. So, let's go see what I need. 135. So you're definitely going to need a 6. Okay. Which means breeding. Okay. Um. What's this? So I need to do some purely for money, uh, so we can finish upgrading stuff. Okay, do that first. Off they go. Shocking sunlight, first away. Boiling bivalve is also in the run. Shocking sunlight holds the lead. Sweetheart Gossip moving forward now. Buzzword Brontosaurus in third. Followed by Necessary Muffin. Looking to make it from Autumn's Splash. On their back is Crocus Cackle. Shocking sunlight out in front. Buzzword Brontosaurus beginning to make ground. Three lengths behind oh, this is, is going well. <laughs> Company Bomber with a brilliant turn of foot. Autumn's Splash in eighth. Oh, a length away, it's God. Whisper Hatred. Energetic Badminton in 16th position from Autumn's System. Continuing around the track, it's Shocking Sunlight. Feather Handkerchief wants the front. Just has a margin over Sweetheart Gossip. Autumn's Splash travelling off the fence. Just behind, it's Heretic Rock. Feather Handkerchief on the head of affairs. Heretic Rock Good thing pushing your past horses. Autumn's Splash in 11. Lordy. The length behind, it's Confetti Cassock. With now you got a few more behind, just slow down some more. Feather Handkerchief in second spot. Autumn's Splash in 11th position. Still going, it's Shocking Sunlight. Feather Handkerchief in second place. Autumn's Splash in 10th spot. Shocking this is good. In control. That's what this Feather is. Handkerchief wants the front. Yeah, that's... Autumn's Splash mm. needs to get more comfortable. Shocking Sunlight no, maintaining that's, the prime that's... spot. Autumn's Splash settled in well, preparing for the finish. Just in front of Wind Bingo. They run behind no. its Shocking Sunlight. Wind Bingo is flying home from nowhere. Shocking Sunlight wow. takes a fantastic win. Feather Handkerchief in second. Buzz, buzz. Okay, so there was a few foul ups in there, but especially that first race, that that, that was pretty, that was pretty sad. Oh God. Um, but but all right. So we now have plenty of money. Just did lots and lots of racing. Um. Yeah, because once I managed to get Splash completely trained up, then it was a lot easier to make the money, which was definitely what I needed. Ooh, snazzy. But we're good. I was good, I was good. Let's see. Bank trip. All right, so breeding, 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 breeding. Nah, 
Yeah. Let's see what we can get here first. Looking for a six because, um, really? Hmm. We're looking for a six because, um, we gotta be able to train to a 26, and old Richard is a little bit higher than last time. Colt. him to work some of that off of Philly. That's a no. Bye bye Philly. Okay. Set y'all up again. Try melody a couple more times. Okay. Let's see. What we got? Stallion. Okay. Uh, well, we already sold him, so that's not gonna work. Breed a six. Yes. Looking for a six. Um, let's see. Mare, mare. Uh, nope. Nope. Hmm. So many stallions. So many stallions. There's a mare. What you got? Eh, nope. Number six. Heavy dapples. Nothing. Okay. That's less than helpful. More mares. Stallions. So I was kind of hoping for the roan because uh, I really do like those coats, but we seem to be a bit shy. Nope. 
Hmm. Let's try and stick with the chestnut mares. Um, to encourage chestnuts. It's a stallion. Six. Pentaloosa. Dabbles. Wait. What was that? Oh, more dabbles. More dabbles. A two. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like we're going to have any luck this go around. There's the blanket run up there. But it tends to go better if, um... If one of the parents has it. She's probably got the Sabino. We could do that. Give it a shot. have the Sabino. Okay. So, 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 let's move her down to, so I can keep up with who's who. Um, so we're looking for a six that we can completely train. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and skip everybody. Okay. Ooh. That is pretty. Pretty, pretty. All right. Looks like the uh, medicine hat. Lavish Pinto. Works for me. Um. Autumn's crescent. The deal. Alright. None? Okay, okay. So Autumn's crescent is our next shenanigan here. Okay. Alright, so I think at this point Autumn's trivia can go to the pasture. Beautiful boy, beautiful boy. All right. So, oop, oop. Gotta watch my little arrows here. All right. And then, move 
silly. Okay. I have a feeling that it's gone. Bye. Beautiful black. Beautiful. You go. Great. All right. All right. So let's set up you. So, 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 we need to train Crescent and Ducky. Alright. So, let's start with Crescent. training afforded to us by the stalls. Yes. Alright. So Crescent is a 13 now, and where's Ducky? Ducky, here we are. So the idea is that with Ducky being at a 12 and Crescent being at a 13, I can train them together on the same races and build up, uh, build up their experience at the same time. And in, it may not be faster in theory, but it allows me to train the two horses together. It also comes in handy when the warehouse does eventually fill up and I have to um, use materials. So then I can split the materials between the two horses and race some more. Because even though... Um,
even though um, Crescent is going to be faster than Ducky, um, they will be similar enough to where they'll be pretty easy to keep up with. So, let's see here. Now, we sent Trivia to the pasture. So we should have an extra set of... Yes, we do. Alright. I missed it. There it is. Okay, so the other one was 4,000, so I need some monies. Okay. And now I can put on. Where's my buddy? Where's my new buddy? There he is. Okay. So, let's set him up with some Balmoral. Something snazzy. Alright. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. It's not my favorite, um... It's not my favorite, uh saddle day. Let's see. Oh, that looks worse. <laughs> oh, the iron sand. Oh, I might break down do that again. I just like the look of it because it's cleaner. <laughs> so picky, so picky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I just like that and say it. Okay. But, 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 but. That means we need to go back to. Is it Yara or Palm Coast? Kildare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's do some racing. Some racing. on it's autumn's crescent perfidious bishop in second position poisonous phobia breathing down their neck just in front of hectic muscle engaging with cushion click next it's scenic score blank bobber is fighting hopes of applause in 23rd putting in a strong bid with satisfactory splash blank bobber in control autumn's crescent will be looking to hold that position and then it's Perfidious Bishop, stride for stride with Hectic Muscle, Stormy Superstar, gaining momentum and flying through, Eloquent Candle, charging through, pounding down the course, it's Autumn's Crescent, Perfidious Bishop wants the front, followed by Blank Bobbin, two lengths away, it's Truth Habit, a length behind, it's Hectic Muscle, putting up a challenge to Poisonous Phobia. Palace Jelly in 23rd spot. On their back is Satisfactory Splash. Autumn's Crescent still pilots the field. Perfidious Bishop in second place. Dueling with Blank Bobbin from Truth Habit. Just has a margin over Elbow Electricity. Just behind its Hectic Muscle. 
opulent oyster is coming with a huge run. Satisfactory splash in 23rd position. A length away, it's Palace Jelly. Autumn's Crescent piloting the field. Blankbobbin in second spot. Perfidious Bishop next. Poisonous Phobia in fourth place. Elbow Electricity in fifth spot. Being overwhelmed by Hectic Muscle. Continuing around the track, it's Autumn's Crescent. Perfidious Bishop in second, then Blankbobbin. A length behind, it's Truth Habit. Next, it's Poisonous Phobia. Neck and neck with Elbow Electricity. Autumn's Crescent once again in the front spot. Perfidious Bishop in second position. A length away, it's Blankbobbin. Closely followed by Truth Habit. Four lengths away, it's Elbow Electricity. Going hammer and tongs with Poisonous Phobia. Still going, it's Autumn's Crescent. Perfidious Bishop wants the front, and then it's Blankbobbin. Five lengths away, it's Elbow Electricity. Autumn's Crescent leading the field. Perfidious Bishop in second spot, pushing hard in front of Truth Habit. Blankbobbin in fourth place. Autumn's Crescent is running for fun. Perfidious Bishop in second place. One length away, it's Truth Habit from Blankbobbin. Continuing around the track, it's Autumn's Crescent. Out deeper on the track is Perfidious Bishop. Two lengths away, it's Truth Habit. One length behind, it's Blank Bobbin. Autumn's Crescent, the leader. Perfidious Bishop, watch the front. Two lengths behind, it's Truth Habit. Autumn's Crescent, keeping the lead. Perfidious Bishop, in second. In the straight, it's Autumn's Crescent. Autumn's Crescent, punched out in one inch, just holds on. Perfidious Bishop. Okay, so, first time we've hit the infamous mark here. Um, let's go ahead and do foals. Let's see. Billy. Because I think I've got them trained up to 18 and 19, but the storehouse got full. Cult. Pretty good cult. But no joy. Okay. So we'll go ahead and set them up again. That's done. Let's collect our payouts. Okay. Do some more training. Let's see. Yes. Oh, they're both 19s. Okay. about spending a bunch of money now um you know like speeding up breeding or anything like that because as you saw before the um the later levels are getting so expensive uh, that i want to have enough money to finish that <laughs> it would be so disappointing to get all the way up to 25 and it's be like nope sorry you don't have any money So I'm just going to hold on to my money, money. 
Okay, so there's that one. Person here. Okay, so now they're both fully trained up to 19, which is 1, 13. Oh, they're still pretty close. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. So, well, let's check out, um, let's see Ducky. Where's Ducky? Ducky. Splash, sorry. Summer Splash, Summer Splash, another mare. Okay. Eh, do one more. Or set you back up, I guess. So, where is Melody? White splash face. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell you. Because I don't really breed you anymore. Alright. Your not contributions were greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay. So now. Uh, let's see. So, kill deer was before. Now we need, like, 110. Let's see. Alright. Yes. Okay. So... It's race on here at Breaker Bay, and first to break the line is Autumn Stuck. Joyful Strength is right there. Autumn Stuck maintaining the lead. Joyful Strength in second position. Toe to toe with Trusty Twilight. Cat's Curve in fifth. Cackle Crypt in 17th spot. Button Bagel next. Autumn Stuck leading the field. Victory Grace overtaking. Hexagon Hope pushing past horses. Evenings change, gaining momentum and flying through. Feather parcel charging through. Autumn Stack maintaining the prime spot. Victory Grace wants the front, putting in a strong bid with Evenings change. Joyful Strength is coming with a huge run. Hexagon Hope with a brilliant turn of foot. Travelling underneath horses is Shameful Breath, then Button Bagel. Autumn Stack still outrunning the rest. Evening's change wants the front. On their back is Joyful Strength, just has a margin over Arc Blue, going hammer and tong with Cat's Curve. With 400 metres to go, it's Autumn's Duck. Evening's change in second. Two lengths away, it's Joyful Strength. Heads up and down with Arc Blue. They straighten up for home, and it's Autumn's Duck. Evening's change in second position. Autumn's Duck gets the money. Okay. I have no idea why the odds were so weird. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So. Now, everybody is leveled up. So. Alright. So this should be the 26 here. Done. And then 
duck is now at 25. Okay. Bum ba da bum. So let's see. What does this get us? Okay. Oh, I'm worse than he is. Who worries? Okay. So train a horse to level twenty nine. Well, let's let's hold off on that. Let's go ahead and race our our see if our we can uh, get tongue tied. Yeah, let's we'll see if we can get tongue tied. Um, six bay. So we'll see how we stack up against the rival. Bye-bye, baby boy. Philly. You know, if I didn't know better, I would say this game really wanted me to make a Philly here. I blame Sophie. She's convenient. A Philly. So many fillies. So many fillies. Alright. So let's go ahead and set these back up. Here. Here. Curious, um, crescent? Is that yeah? Because it was autumn's crescent. I wonder where. Is that what he got? Was the lavish pinto? That is what he got. Okay, I was wondering where that came from. I was like, I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, there. So, clean this out. Yes. Let's go see. Because you want me to sell a horse with a sprint energy of 135. Yeah. And I don't want to do that just yet. <laughs> I don't want to. Alright, so 132, 135. Um, that's a bit much. Uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, that's going to mean more racing. But that's okay. Alright. Okay, so now Crescent is completely leveled up. So we'll do us a quick speed through the stuff here. All that amazing gold. That's what I get for racing so much. <laughs> Go see what we got in the stables. Skip a filly. A five colt. Hold that thought. Um, and 
summer is another five. Yeah, and you're the one with the flavor, of course. Can't be a six. Nah, that would make too much sense. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. It's a rant and rave. Um, let's see. So the fives are only getting up to about 126 and the sprint you want is 135 okay so it has to be a six that's trained up um so all right so you're gone You're gone. And you're gone. Let's see. One stallion. the stallions. Let's see. Kano. Lacing fade. If you had the lacing fade, that would be pretty. It's not the horrid. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. What do you have? Lavish Pentalusa. Okay. Okay. I don't think I have somebody with that one. So, one, two, three. Who are you? Um, nah, let's go ahead and sell you. Yeah, because I'm having to do sixes. And we'll just figure that out. Um, atmosphere. I never did get anybody with the Frosty Pinto. Um... We'll, we'll try a couple more times, but I'm not, like, holding my breath here. We'll go ahead and do all of our sixes, since we need a six. Demonic dinosaur. Sure, why not? What is life without a psycho dinosaur? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, see? Six. Right off the bat. So, yeah. We're probably gonna have to breed the sixes a few times. Um. So, you're gone. Goodbye. Let's try maybe twice more. Let's see. Another filly. Okay. Alright. Bye, baby girl. Um, 
Another filly. Clean out a couple of these uh, fillies. Uh, yeah, I got, okay, I can do one more. Yeah. Yup, 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 yup. One more, one more, one more. Cool. Chestnut. Yay. 54. Um... I don't remember. Well, what did, um... Oh, here. Before I go charging off into the wasteland, let's set you up here. Okay. So, what did... Crescent have? 54. And it stopped at 29. So, uh, and it was sprint, right? Sprint? Yes. Okay, so Crescent has 54 and it made it. And then Probable has 54. Okay. So, I would prefer something with 55 just because it might be better, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And capped. Dang it, I didn't want him to be capped. <sighs> oh well. Because then I can't, but. But that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Start at Secura Valley. Punters hoping for a comfortable win for the favourite. Superior sense. Autumn's crescent only with an outside chance today. <laughs> Gates crash back. A great start right. for the favourite. Oh. Snail's oh. shift is also in the firing line. Pounding yeah. down the course, it's Autumn's crescent. Stay Oliver behind Biscuits me. making Here ground. Followed by Superior Sense, putting in a strong bid with various Hoomstones. On their back yeah. is Opera Benefit, struggling with Melodic Caption. Personal Pickle, 13, um. from King of the Shroud. Autumn's Crescent at the front. Oh, no, that's Superior not Sense fair. I slowed down the bar just behind its original runs potter, away. Just behind its various Hoomstones, putting up a challenge to Melodic Caption. Oh, well, action. it's fine. Petal Ball, Dick. pushing past horses. <laughs> With 1500 to gallop, it's Autumn's Crescent. Superior Sense wants the front. Diamond Bramble next. Uh, Just six. Has a margin yeah, over. I got plenty of time. Caption. Diamond uh -oh. Bramble gains uh, momentum. Yep. Yeah, Richard. Through. Superior Sense in first place. Yeah, you better slow Autumn's down. Crescent could be Turn. happier. Then various hoomstones. Better. A length behind, it's Original Potter. Next, it's yeah, keep Snail's slowing down. Sheet. Slowing Watch down. Followed by Petal Ball. Continuing around the track, it's Autumn's Crescent. Around me. Second place. And Stay back there. Various hoomstones. Pushing hard in front of Diamond Bramble, followed by Snail's Sheep. Very much. At the 800 meter mark, it's Autumn's Crescent. Superior Sense in second spot. A length away, it's Diamond Bramble. Snail's Sheep in fourth. On their back is Various Hoomstones. Autumn's Crescent is the front runner. Where is he? Superior oh, that's not bad. In okay. Second position, yes. Followed by Diamond Bramble. Closely followed by Snail's Sheep. Autumn's Crescent still in the first position. Superior Sense in second spot. Diamond Bramble next. Here we go. Autumn's Crescent once again in the front spot. Superior Bye, Sense Richard. in second place. Bye, Richard. Yeah, you better believe it. Meters from the line, and it's Autumn's Crescent. Superior yes. Sense. The front. Ah. The oh, that went infinitely better. <laughs> Autumn's Crescent breaks their hearts. Just holds by Superior oh. Sense. Mr. I want some competition. It's just a little fun. 